Take a trip back in time tonight. In the 1920s, almost every neighborhood had a corner soda shop. They reached the height of their popularity in the 40s and 50s, but even decades later, some business owners are keeping the classic American tradition alive. Michael George has more on the legacy of the soda fountain. At Brooklyn Pharmacy, soda jerk and co-owner Peter Freeman is serving up a little taste of the old days. This is one of just a handful of soda fountains still operating. Soda shops were once an iconic part of American culture, where teens and families would gather for an egg cream or an ice cream sundae. 1930s, there was maybe 125,000 soda fountains. As of today, there's maybe 125. For Lena Deegan, who's in her 90s, Coming here is like stepping into a time machine. Oh my God, me and my husband, we used to always hang out there. Here, the sights, sounds, and flavors are just the way people remember. Freeman says the draw is more than desserts. We make memories here. We make experience here. Soda fountains are incredibly social, and it's one of the real beauties of a soda fountain, is it brings people together. These businesses faded as new inventions like the bottle cap made it easier to have soda at home. But some say it's time for the corner soda shop to make a comeback. Brings back a lot of memories. They've disappeared. And what we lose, not just as Americans, but as, as humans, is, is a human connection. A reminder of how old-fashioned socializing delicious can make every day a little bit sweeter. Michael George, CBS News, New York.